So in the last couple of videos, I've showed you how to import objects from Blender into Unity in a couple different ways. I've also shown you how to UV unwrap and bake textures. But in this video, I wanna take it one step further and I wanna show you how to bake multiple objects onto one texture. Now, if you're asking why would you do that, it comes back to the idea, again, that Unity is gonna run quicker and therefore your game's gonna run faster and smoother if there are fewer number of materials in the scene. So if we can take multiple objects, bake them onto one texture, then in Unity, we can just use one material for those different objects. We get a performance boost, but it does take a little bit of effort on our side. So before we get started, I wanna show you the scene that I've got set up. So what I have is a red cube. I've got a material here, where I've got the base color and the viewport color set. And I've got a icosphere with the same idea, just using a different color. I've got this blend file saved into Unity. You can see here that I've got my cube and I've got my icosphere. We need to do a few things here before we can unwrap and bake these materials. So just like we did before, over here in the shader editor, I need to add in the image, image texture option. And I'm gonna to need to be able to give it a new material there. So in this case, I'm just gonna press new. I'm gonna call this two objects and press okay. And I'm gonna come down here to my image editor and I can select that so I can see the texture. Then I'm gonna to go to my cube and I'm gonna add the same node over there and select the same texture. Now that we have the material set up, we need to unwrap both of these objects. So I'm gonna select both objects by holding shift and then left clicking on the icosphere, the object that I hadn't selected yet. I'm then going to go into edit mode and you can see over on the bottom left, you can see that the objects are already unwrapped, but their UVs are overlapping. And we don't want that because they're different colors. That's not gonna work very well. So I'm gonna go down to the UV menu, go to light map pack, just like I did in the last video. I'm gonna keep it at selected faces. We're gonna image size, doesn't really matter. Pack quality, I might turn it up. Doesn't really matter for this uh, example. But again, remember, if you turn it all the way up with a really complex model, it could take several minutes to maybe even hours to unwrap. And I'm gonna set the margin up a little bit like so and press okay. And there you go. Now you can see the two objects have been unwrapped to the same UV space, to the same texture. I'm gonna go back to object mode. I'm gonna hit the camera tab, which allows us to set up some of our rendering and our baking options. Now you need to make sure that you're in the cycles engine. By default, Blender 2.8 is loading into the EV engine, but we wanna use the cycles engine. If you don't have cycles selected, you won't have a bake option. With that said, you can come down here to the bake option, make sure it's expanded. And then under bake type, I'm gonna leave mine as combined. You can bake it however you need. With that all set up, I'm gonna press the bake button. Now these are much simpler models than the tree that I baked in the previous video. But again, if you have a complex model, this could take uh, several minutes and I wouldn't be surprised if you had a super complex model, it could take hours depending on how powerful your processor is. So there you go. You can see the, the colors, the materials from both objects have been baked onto this texture. So once again, I'm gonna save this file. We've unwrapped the object since we need to save that. So that's updated in Unity. And then I'm also gonna come down to my image and I'm gonna save that into my project as well. So I've got my two objects PNG. I'm gonna just save that. Come back into Unity. You can see that the models themselves haven't changed, but I've got this addition of this texture here. Now, in order to apply this texture to both objects, I'm gonna need a new material. So I'm gonna right click, create new material. I'm gonna call this two objects. And then again, in that albedo channel, I'm gonna drag and drop that texture in. I'm gonna turn the smoothness down just cause I don't like things to be shiny. And then I'm gonna drag this material onto that object. And you can see the ecosphere, it lightens up because we baked the texture, it's a little bit different color, but nothing's happened to the cube. So I can then drag that material onto the cube. And you can see that now it's turned red. Now, if you notice, if you look at the edges there, if you look at the edges, we've got a little bit of bleeding going on. You can see that, that some of the blue from the icosphere has bled into this cube. And now this can happen, and it shouldn't, but it can happen occasionally. So what we need to do is go back to Blender and adjust some of the settings. So I'm gonna go back to Blender, making sure that I've selected both objects. I'm gonna go into edit mode, and I need to unwrap these things again. 
And when I go to edit mode, you can see here that some of the blue, you can see what we're talking about, the blue has leaked in, it's bled into the pink. And that's because the pink was baked first and then the blue on top of that. So I'm gonna go to UV, light map pack, and I'm gonna turn this margin up. I'm surprised that that's happened. I haven't seen it with the margin that high. So that looks better, it doesn't look perfect, but let's see if it's good enough. So what I'm gonna do is save this file again. I'm gonna save the image. And I'm gonna go back into Unity. Now since that Blender file was saved directly into Blender, we didn't have to update anything. And since I just overrode that texture, I didn't have to reset up the materials again. And now you can see that the edges of the cube are nice and clean. We've got the correct colors there. So this can be an issue. Uh, sometimes you see it, sometimes you don't, but changing that margin is at least one way of avoiding that bleeding. So there you go. That's how you unwrap multiple objects to a single texture. It helps with your performance in Unity and it can give your game an FPS boost without costing you anything but a little bit of time in Blender. So I hope that was helpful. Hope it was interesting. If it was, think about hitting that subscribe and like buttons. If you wanna go further in supporting the channel, check out the links to my Patreon and Discord server in the video description below. So until next time, happy game designing.